<coughs> oh my gosh. Well, after another successful Milf Mansion Awards, I guess I, uh... Oof, I guess I should start preparing for the New Year's. Well, one of my New Year's resolutions is finally finishing the good, the bad, and the... What? Oh, flip! I'll go make a video! I'll go make a video! Fast! Let me go, let me go and get my idea book. <sighs> okay, let's come up with something. Okay, can't be that, can't be that. No, 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 that's not good, that's not good. I don't think that's good. Da, da, da. Voila! That's what I'll do. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Greenbox. And I'm finally back doing a video, how to cook the perfect sandwich. Let's get straight into it. First thing you'll need is a baguette. Second thing second, you're going to need one tomato since you are only making a sandwich for one. And then you're going to need some cucumber, around cut into three to four pieces. And then you're going to need one piece of salami. Following that then, you're also going to need some pepperoni but you're not gonna have one piece of pepperoni you are gonna have two pieces of pepperoni for your sandwich after that then you need to cut the baguette in half with a with a knife make sure the knife is sharp and make sure you cut perfectly right down the middle so they are roughly both the same size for when you want to make another sandwich after that, then, you want to cut the sandwich open. You just want to grab your butter knife and get... Well, not your butter knife. Your knife and cut right down the middle. Don't cut straight through so you cut your hand open. Just deep enough so you could put your ingredients in. And it and it's nice and open like that. If you need to, pry it open with your thumbs if you're not the best cutter like I did. Then, you're going to need some butter and a butter knife to then, obviously, butter the baguette. So you want to butter it. So it looks like that. I'm not the best butter in the world, but still, if it looks roughly around the same, if it looks roughly like that, then, then my friend, you are on the right track. Then you want to put your one piece of salami in, make sure it's nice and tucked in there, and then your two pieces of pepperoni, which will go nicely tucked in as well. You may want to fold them in inwards so they are nice and comfy in there, and look something like this. And then you'll want to grab some tin foil and put your sandwich in the tin foil. So then you can put it in the oven and it'll be nice and warm. The tin foil will make it warmer, but it won't burn your hand clean off. You want to start. You want to start on the oven. You want to put your sandwich in. You want to close the oven door, and then put and then put your sandwich on for around. Well, it depends who you like. If you like it crispy, around six, but six to four minutes is the you know. The time you should be aiming for to have this perfect sandwich in perfect condition. After your sandwich has been in the oven for around four to six minutes, you want to take it out and undo the tin foil slowly. After that, then you will look inside and you'll see a beautiful sandwich, but it is missing two key components: the cucumber and the tomato. You wanna you wanna put your three slices of cucumber around three to four, depends how you cut it into the cucumber around like in a zigzag formation after that then you'll want to have you want to get your tomatoes cut it in half and then put one at the left and put one at the right so they so they're both not touching they're both blocked up both blocked by the meat and the cucumber after that then to secure everything you'll want to squeeze it all together to make sure that nothing falls out when you're eating it and you get one big bite and all the flavors beautifully mix after that then you go and grab a plate and then you put it on a plate and then voila that's how you make the perfect sandwich so yeah that's how you make the perfect sandwich i don't know if this video will be a one-off but yeah people have been asking for a cooking green box video you ask and you shall receive make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time goodbye